All right, welcome to a video on triangle angle bisectors. So, it's an angle bisector, so you can tell from the words that it's something that bisects an angle. So here we see our angle bisector is this segment right here. It cuts this angle up here in half. And when this happens, you get some interesting proportions that come out of that that we can solve. So, if you look, we have three sets that will, that'll work. So, the okay, so I'm not sure where that just left off because it randomly paused. So we're going to go with we have some three sets of proportions here to work with. So the simplest one says that if we put side A over D, it'll equal side B over E. So if we take little side over little and then the bigger side over the bigger will get an equal proportion. We can also take A and B, add them together, and divide them by C, and we'll get B over E. That should have the same ratio. Likewise, if we do A plus B divided by C, we should get A over D as equal. So. We're going to use these, we're going to do three examples, and I'm just going to do the three examples and then leave you to work on the practice problems. Now these are going to be simpler examples with just numbers mainly. One of them is going to have a variable in it. So let's get to it. Well, they're all going to have variables. It's just one of them is going to have a variable that's a little bit different. So here we're trying to solve for x. So we we look and we try to figure out which one do we want to use. Well, I don't want to use any of the A plus B's because I don't know what this A is here. But I know what B is. I also don't know what this is right here. But I can figure that out. Because I know this portion is 6 and the whole thing's 14. If I do 14 minus 6, that'll tell me that the answer is 8. So now I can do A I have A, B, C, and D. So I can do, oops, I did that backwards, didn't I? C, D. I can do A over D equals B over C. So I can do A over D equals B over C. So I can say that X over 6 equals 16 divided by 8. So now we're going to cross multiply. You may remember doing this back in junior high type math where we cross multiply to solve. So we're going to do 8 times x which is 8x and then 6 times 16 which is 96 and now we're going to divide that by 8 and we get 12 so x is 12. Okay, so we look here. This one has a little bit more going on with it, but it's a similar setup as the previous one. So we know A and D. We're trying to find X that's in B. Here's C. And I just realized I messed up over here. This is C. This is D and this is E. So let's change this here. To E, I'm very sorry about that. If you're confused, that's why. And we don't know E. Well, because again, we have the variable with A and B, I don't want to add A and B together. I could if I wanted to. That's totally fine. But let's just see if we can figure out E. So we know that's 4, and the whole thing's 6, so that means E would be 2. So now again we can do A over D equals B over E. I got it right this time. And you could do it the other way if you wanted to. It would just be some more steps in there. And feel free to do that on any of these. There's not one way to always solve these. There's multiple. So in place of A we'll put 8 divided by 4. And then 2x plus 6 divided by 
2 and again we'll cross multiply. Now when we cross multiply here we're going to take that 4 and distribute it to both of these terms. So if it's not just a number or just one one term there, write it out like you're going to distribute. That way you don't forget anything. Six times four is twenty-four, not six. So we subtract twenty-four. We get eight x equals negative eight. So x equals negative one. Okay, last example. So in this example, we're trying to find E. Trying to find E. We don't know what D is. So we're going to have to use something that has B and E in it, but doesn't have D. And we, there's no way we can find D because we don't know what E is. So we're going to have to use an A plus B divided by C equals... If we look, we're trying to find E, so we'll do B divided by E. So now we're just going to plug in. So we get 2 plus 4 divided by 12 equals 4 divided by X. Let's simplify that 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Now we can cross multiply. So we get... 6x equals 48, divide by 6, and we get x equals 8 is our final answer there. So, okay, that's it for this video. If you have questions, go back through, ask me, ask somebody else. After that, you can move on to the practice problems.